SolidWorks continually makes enhancements to make drawing and detailing creation more efficient. In the past, we were introduced to rapid dimensions, which allowed us to quickly add and space dimensions on the fly. This was a great enhancement. However, it could only be utilized while placing dimensions. If you already had dimensions in place in the drawing, it wasn't available. But now, there are tools on the dimension palette to automatically help rearrange and space existing dimensions as well. First, you must select the dimensions you would like to format, by either holding control and selecting them individually, or by box selecting them. When you do, you'll see this icon appear, and when you hover over it, the dimension palette appears. The dimension palette is nothing new, so for the purposes of the next few lessons, I only want to go over the icons on the bottom row. The first option is Auto Arrange Dimensions. This is a very powerful tool because it combines all of the other options to space and arrange the dimensions into one step. The dimensions will be spaced from smallest to largest with the text aligned and centered. If there's any overlap, SolidWorks will automatically make any adjustments and, if necessary, the text will be staggered instead of centered. I'll click the icon to automatically arrange dimensions and move my cursor away from the dimension palette to close the menu you can see that the dimensions were indeed properly arranged. If you want to make any changes, reselect the dimensions and open the dimension palette. You can adjust the spacing by either moving the spin handle at the bottom or by typing in a value. We'll take a look at these other options in the next lesson, which give you even more control over the placement of the dimensions.